Hello, it's right here, Taco, and welcome back to another video. We're in a typical Sunday. We've got laundry hanging around everywhere, sweets that are ready to be eaten, and a unexpected package which came to the local Amazon locker. And so I decided instead of leaving this until tomorrow, I'd actually get the package picked up and get this done tonight. And what's actually in here, although it's technology in nature, this is not for Hina Ichigo. Because, unfortunately, as I think I mentioned recently, she has had a few issues with processes taking up exorbitant amounts of processor time and downloading just lagging everything to crap and games now just stalling every once in a while I've actually decided to push ahead and start working on upgrading Canaria which is the Dell Inspiron T1600 and the main item in here I've actually opened this before I started to film is for this to actually do for her and this is a King Spec 360 gig SSD uh, the only reason why I've actually because uh, this was actually well cheap enough it's about 70 quid on Amazon but as it says it's 360 gigs which means I could take this clone the Western Digital 320 gig drive and hopefully and then I won't have to worry about compacting down space on the drive if I were to get a 240, 250 or 275 gig SSD from one of the other major brands and the other item in here that I will actually need as well are a pack of five SATA data cables in blue although I thought there because I was originally going to go for ones with a right angle connector on one but it looks like well they're same at either end but well these are probably going to be used for the future but for the moment I just need one temporarily to wire that into the Dell and to actually get the Dell into solid state because the moment I get that cloned I'm actually going to swap over the SATA data cable from the 320 gig mechanical to that although quite frankly we're, cr we're cloning SATA 2 to SATA 2 because I'm going to have to run that off of the SATA 2 port on the the only available SATA 2 port on the motherboard and the Western Digital hard drive that uh, the iOS originally was on is actually a SATA 2 hard drive so <sighs> I'm going to quickly shuffle this lot around and uh, retrieve Canaria from her little hole back in a bit and here's the drive itself in all its uh, might be plastic glory yeah, the good thing is they actually provide some screws that are probably won't be needing them because I'm going to be hack jobbing this into the Dell. So, yep, time for another jump cut, and the beast has been extracted. Which is, well, no feat because I had to dig it out from back there. I don't think what I'm gonna do afterwards is I'm gonna set it so that I could just. I could just grab it, bring it out so that I can extract the hard drive. Alright, so 
let's pull this out stick this over here out the way uh, right okay which is which I think yeah it's this one down at the bottom which is D320 giga so yeah because the only spare SATA power cable we have is up here I'm pretty much going to hack job the King Spec SSD into this bay <laughs> and there's going to be nowhere to freaky stick the screw so yeah I'm going to go start bodging around and oh we'll be back in a bit alright that's all that done as I was actually going to try and thread a screw through this little hole here to try and keep it in place but well it didn't want to play ball so uh, it's time to button this thing up plug it back in and see what explodes back in a minute alright here that you go has now been fired up so as I can at least do stuff I've got monitor and speakers on even though I'm probably not going to be needing speakers and let's hope that nothing explodes first I want to actually look at the setup and okay that isn't working system information tab over uh, yep there it is SATA 2 360 gig HDD and right. oh. let's just let this go through its teething and uh, let's hope nothing's wrong or something goes wrong with the boot and good we are booting into windows thank god right so I'm gonna stop and we are gonna come back once I actually am at the desktop ah, and we are at the desktop and oh it shows up here as Q360 well because it is a Q series hard drive but yep it's showing in device manager alright hard drive seems to have wound down so what I'm going to do is well first right it's not showing in here so I know that. right thing is can I actually initiate the clone without initializing the hard drive right let's see you go down to tools clone alright uh, yeah automatic right next right it is not showing up so I'm probably going to have to initialize it so close that close that over to here disk management yep disk 2 uh, use the following partition style GPT right okay Right. 
Yep. 33, 33, 33, 5.23 gigs unallocated. Let's see if it notices it now. And clone automatic. Right, source is disk one. Next, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Uh, destination is the Q360. The, uh, the destination hard disk you have chosen contains part some partitions that could contain useful data. Click OK to confirm deletion of all the partitions on the destination hard disk drive. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so it's two ninety eight point zero NTFS. Uh let's have a look. Hang on. Uh cancel clone. Let's try this. Automatic. This one. It's two ninety seven one. Okay, so it's expanding the uh Yeah, because I don't think that was there the last time. This little partition at the end. Right, okay, I'm going to have to stop this and have a look. Right, let's close that. I'm going to quickly stop this. Uh, right, well, looks like I'm going to have to leave it as is because what happens is it only extends the final partition so what I'm probably going to have to do is reduce that back down then reallocate the space to this partition or I just nuke that and give it the rest of the space but I'm just going to leave it as is and all right options Uh, oh great, no, let's try this again, right, uh, next, next, to Q360, next, okay, uh, yep, that'll do, proceed. And because I know what's going to happen next, yep, computer restart is required. So I'm going to adjourn this recording and we will come back, well, hopefully, once we've actually got the clone, once the clone is starting. And here we go, we're now booted into the sort of like base startup system which will actually do the cloning and preparing 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 <sighs> and something's grinding off the <sighs> off of, yep and cloning Yeah, and whatever that was, it's now shut itself down. All I'm gonna do is, yep, yeah. that's that. So, clone, baby, clone, baby, baby, clone, clone. 
and it's going to shut down as soon as everything is complete. Uh, I'm hoping it'll actually start the cloning process. Although I can see, well, I did see. Okay. Did it just reboot? Oh, great. And it's booted back into Windows. Okay. So, this is going to be a bit more problematic than I thought. Uh, this is not going well because I just tried to do it again and, well, I decided to try and do it an, as, in an as is and once again it just reboot, it just started the procedure and rebooted me back to Windows. So uh, this is probably going to take a lot longer than I thought. So. Uh, I'm probably going to have to try and find, I'm probably going to have to try and dig out some help to try and clone the o, this OS from the hard drive to the SSD because I know it wasn't this hard cloning to a freaking Seagate. Oh. oh yeah, this is going to take a while. Oh, sod that for a pint of onions. I've set everything back up the way it was and I'm going to power down the light. What I might try and do is, before I actually go to a more drastic solution of using other software, is I'm going to see if I can actually clone the boot drive from the Dell and then, in, then restore it to the Kingspec SSD. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to start using other means. I'm actually going to see if there's anything else that I can use to uh, facilitate the cloning process. I'm probably going to have to end up recharging this me camera. Anywho, this has probably ended this little party for today, so yeah. Uncle, throw in the towel. I'm going to try something else. Alright, let's try this again. And I'm actually... Yep. And, well, I'm trying to use Macarium Reflect. Hopefully, this should actually work. Uh, we can hope. Ah. Or not clone failed. <sighs> and here's the issue. Clone failed. Unable to match partition. Drive 2 start sector. MF NFT corrupt. Error, six, error code 6. Please run check code. Cl check disk C R. So there's corruption on my hard drive. Huh, I should probably re uh, probably explains the reason why Acronis was fucking about with me. <sighs> so there's corruption in the file table. This probably came from the original clone I had, the original recovery I had to make of this. So, well, uh, okay, let's try this again in a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a check disk R on the C drive and see if everything works after that. <sighs> well, it got to 13% complete with scanning and repairing and it hasn't gone any further for at least the past three minutes. The hard drive is still being accessed though you can't actually see it you can just about see it there on the camera even though we're in complete darkness 
surface that is actually the hard drive activity indicator. So, <sighs> we've either got a dicky hard drive or that old clone didn't go as well as expected. So, I am going to stop this here, see if this goes any further than 13%. And, well, if this thing doesn't get, if this thing can't be repaired, I'm going to be pulling it out. I'm going to be copying everything off of the mechanical off of the main drive onto hit onto the second drive and well I'm gonna have to do a complete OS reinstall uh, this is gonna be fun Well, after an hour of it, staying at 13% repairing, checking and repairing for over an hour, I decided to kill the attempt and thankfully I was able to get back into Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to break out my trusty USB flash drive with the latest version of Windows 10, back up everything off of this drive. I probably won't be redoing the Twin Saga or the area game stuff through that crappy download thing. And what I will be doing is doing a complete fresh reinstall of Windows from the ground up. Oh joy. And this ser and this video is definitely not over. I know I'm gonna have to uh, you just love it when you're interrupted by the low battery warning well it is now Monday morning near enough mid about half gone half past eleven and well there was an eventful night yesterday where I actually decided to just go and take out disconnect everything and reinstall windows and as we'll probably see yeah. It's a very it's a heck of a lot quicker than it was. <laughs> when it had a mechanical drive in it. Yeah, so pretty much I had to, uh, the repair just didn't complete, just stuck at 13% so I just reset it, managed to get back into Windows, backed up all the critical stuff, now all I have to do is final bits, although I'm going to stick this down here so that I can log in. Now I've still got to configure the power modes. There are a few things that I actually need to do, like install Zone Alarm Firewall. Oh, yeah. She is back up and booting a heck of a lot quicker. And if 
I quickly go into my pictures folder and I'll keep it like this and flash up the photos up you get some very very healthy numbers from the SSD from the old, from a crystal disk mark test test Ugh. so what do I have to do well steam is something I don't have to worry about because when I reset when I reassign the hard drives directory uh, for some I've got to make sure yeah it's for some unknown reason the optical drive decided to vanish when I stuck the hard drive back in well when I sh when I pointed it towards the original directory I had all the games installed in it immediately reassigned and checked them off only requiring a download or free or one because it re-downloaded some of the XCOM 2 Uh, workshop stuff because what I'd actually done there was I actually copied the whole game across the network from you know, each go over to Canaria and uh, it actually did at least work so yeah because all I have to do now is sort out all of this lot because I'm going to have to reinstall all of this the good thing is, is I've actually got pretty much all of my GOG library on that hard drive there so I could do that without having to deal with anything I've got to sort out this I've got to re-download the Blizzard app although I think I did have it uh, yeah so I've got the overwatch set up here and I would have pushed that back over to the C drive uh, yeah uh, yeah I've got to get Overwatch redone and that. This needs to be reinstalled. The good thing is these don't because they don't. It's really is the camera up, you idiot. These don't have to be done because, well, they can be done without any registry. And I didn't have any Origin or Uplay games installed. So all I have to do is, well, I could easily see if, I could easily see if God Galaxy is as good as Steam was, although if I remember I actually had most of the God library installed to the C drive. So, yep, this is going to be a bit fun. Yeah, because I got. Cause I think all I have in here a Cold Waters and Atlantic Fleet. Yep, so. <laughs> yep, this is the state of things thus far. Yep, not much used and a very very clean install and you know what I might actually install 
I might actually put in what put World of Warships on the SSD. <laughs> actually try and curb some of the issues. No, yep. Yeah. Thus far, everything is good. I just have to uh, just with and click. Just with some of this, I just have to back up save data. Yeah, I just have to back up the save files and delete the folders and reinstall the games. Although what I will do is I'll probably start with the USB ones. So I'm not actually going to put an end to this video <coughs> just yet. Uh, well, I'm going to have something to eat. I'm going to have a cup of coffee, although it'll be a latte. And I've got a doctor's appointment at 10 to 4 this afternoon, so yeah, I'm going to do as much as I can now, and uh, hopefully by this evening I should actually have everything, re I should have everything back to normal, I hope. <laughs> right, it's now been, well several weeks since I actually installed the SSD into the and I thought I might have actually get everything sorted out and bring this to a conclusion so I have finally sorted out all the games reinstalling them back well I reinstalled most of them back to the hard drive but a few like no, it's up. Oh, here it is. Like piece of wonder. Give it a sec to. I have actually re. I've actually installed this to the SSD, and there she goes. And there she goes. And yeah, well, it did actually take a while for the SSD to bed in a bit. I wonder if anyone hears any whining on the speaker, on the head, on the audio. That is just the washing machine. Yeah, but did have a few foibles when it was after I'd installed, I got everything installed. But it's working pretty well now. Boots up like <laughs> boots up like lightning, and yeah, it does even improve the load time for some games. Well, as long as they're on the SSD. But yeah, although I have had one casualty, that being, oh, well, you won't see it, but yeah. The little zoo storm with me a reach ago has now got a damaged front audio port, but that is for another video. And I thought it was about time that I actually finally, as I've probably said already, brought this to a conclusion. So pretty much everything's been installed. My next port of call will be to get some larger get a larger hot gets get the uh, larger hard drives so I can actually install more stuff on this all I've got to do is figure out where I'm going to get the processor probably put another probably shove another 8 gig of RAM into this so it has a full 16 And then I'll probably mention what I'm actually going to be doing with the computers and uh, what is actually going to be turning into my primary. So unfortunately, at the zoo storm, it's most likely not going to be the primary for much longer. So. Uh, that's all done, this is all done, now I can finally put this video in the can and get it onto YouTube. 
So, this is Radio Taku signing off. Until next time, I'll catch you later.